Geist und Seal Word Verwurrit, BWV 35. Geist und Seal Word Verwurrit Spirit and Soul Become Confused, BWV 35, is a church cantata by Johann Sebastian Bach. He composed the solo cantata for Alto Voice in Leipzig for the 12th Sunday after Trinity and first performed it on 8 September 1726. Bach composed the cantata in his fourth year as Thomas Cantor musical director in Leipzig. The text is based on the day's prescribed reading from the Gospel of Mark, the healing of a deaf-mute man. The librettist is Georg Christian Lehms, whose poetry Bach had used already in Weimar as the basis for solo cantatas. The text quotes ideas from the Gospel, and derives from these the analogy that as the tongue of the deaf-mute man was opened, the believer should be open to admire God's miraculous deeds. The cantatas for this Sunday have a positive character, which Bach stressed in earlier works for the occasion by including trumpets in the score. In this work, he uses instead an obligato solo organ in several movements. The cantata is structured in seven movements in two parts, to be performed before and after the sermon. Both parts are opened by an instrumental symphonia with solo organ, probably derived from concerto music composed earlier in Weimar or Cobham. The alto singer performs a sequence of alternating areas and recitatives, accompanied in all three areas by the organ as an equal partner. The baroque instrumental ensemble is formed by two oboes, tail strings and basso continuo. The alto part is demanding, and was probably written with a specific singer in mind, as with the two other solo cantatas composed in the same period. History and Words Bach composed the cantata in his fourth year as Thomas Cantor in Leipzig for the twelfth Sunday after Trinity. It is regarded as part of his third cantata cycle. The prescribed readings for the Sunday were from the second epistle to the Corinthians, the Ministry of the Spirit, 2 Corinthians 3, 4, 11, and from the Gospel of Mark, the healing of a deaf-mute man, Mark 7, 31, 37. The cantata text was written by George Christian Lehms and published in Gotcha Folages Kirchen, Op. 17, 11. The text connects the healing of the deaf man to the thoughts of the believer who is left deaf and mute in all looking at the healing of Jesus and God's creation. The text of the second area is almost a quote of the Gospel's last verse. Because of the requirements that new music be composed as often as possible, Bach seldom chose older poems for his cantatas. Consequently, the conductor Craig Smith has suggested that parts of this work may have been composed earlier than the first recorded Leipzig performance. Bach had already composed his first solo cantata on a text by Lehms, Widerste, Dr. Sund BWV 54, composed during his tenure in Weimar, also for an alto soloist. The cantata is one of three Bach cantatas written in Leipzig in 1726, in which an alto is the only vocal soloist, the others being Vergnacht Ra, the Lipp Seal and Lust, BWV 170, and Dot Sol Aline Mainher's Haven, BWV 169. It seems likely that Bach had a capable alto singer at his disposal during this period. Bach had earlier composed two other cantatas for the Twelfth Sunday after Trinity in his first year in Leipzig Lobe den Herrn, Main Seal, BWV 60 Ninia, first performed on 15 August 1723, and in his third year Lobe den Herrn, den Matchteigen König der Ehren, BWV 137, first performed. Both works focus on praise, lob, and use in orchestra, including festive trumpets. Furthermore, the work has two large concerto movements for organ and orchestra, probably from a lost concerto for keyboard, avo, or violin, perhaps indicating that the cantata was composed for a seasonal choral absentia at Thomas Gerch. The first nine bars of the opening symphonia are practically identical to the fragment BWV 1059. Bach led the first performance on 8 September 1726, and probably played the organ part himself. Structure and Scoring Bach structured the cantata in two parts, four movements to be performed before the sermon, three after the sermon. Both parts begin with a symphonia. 
Bach scored the cantata for an alto soloist and a baroque instrumental ensemble of two oboes ob, tail ot, obligato solo organ org, two violins viel, viola va, and basso continuo vc. In the following table of the movements, the scoring follows the new Bach Oscape. The keys and time signatures are taken from Alfred Durr, using the symbol for common time 4 slash 4. The instruments are shown separately for winds, strings, and organ, and continuo. Music John Eliot Gardiner, who conducted this work on the twelfth Sunday after Trinity in St. Jacob, Coven as part of the Bach Cantata pilgrimage, with the Minteverdi Choir in 2000. In an expanded two-part structure, the organ is both an instrumental soloist in the two symphonias and a partner for the singer in all three areas. The musicologist Lawrence Dreyfus distinguished Bakke's use of the organ as sacred icon versus gallant conversationalist, writing on Bakke's assimilation of the secular solo concerto into his church cantatas and his adjustment of the normal concerto principle, that of soloist versus orchestra, through subtle shifts in role playing. The instrument now posing as 1. The opening Allegro Sinfonia incorporates concerto techniques, suggesting an origin in a pre existing concerto. The organ performs both the solo melody and the continual line, punctuated by quasi cadenza passages and interspersed ten measure ritornellos. The musicologist Klaus Hoffmann notes that in the movement in Italian style, the theme is subjected to intensive thematic working out in the dialogue between solo instrument and orchestra. 2. The first area in Da Capo form, Geist unseal word ver spirit, and soul become confused, is characterized by a broken ritornello and a sense of confusion and uncertainty. The rhythm is Siciliano, a frequent feature in slow concerto movements by Bach and others. Hoffman concludes from many corrections in Bakke's autograph. He sees the agility of the organ part, which does not follow the Siciliano pattern, as an image of the confusion mentioned in the text. 3. A secco recitative, Ik wonder mich I am amazed, expresses awe at the creation, rendered in the first person which, according to Minchem, underlines the cantata's personal and individual emphasis. Beginning in a major mode which contrasts with the preceding area, it turns to the solemnity of the minor mode. 4. An area with obligato organ, God had a les matched God has made everything well, is the first movement in a major mode, expressing pleasure with God's creation. It has a dominating two-part ritornello. Hoffman observes that the organ, this time the only partner of the voice, is rich in coloratura, and has a theme heard throughout the movement, sometimes in the manner of an ostinato, sometimes freely developed, in its figuration and motoric drive it is stylized just like Bacchi's writing for the violoncello piccolo. Gardiner notes that not only the tessitura but also characteristic string crossing patterns are reminiscent of violoncello piccolo use. 5. Part 2 begins with another sinfonia, this time in binary form. Hoffman describes it as an engaging perpetuum mobile introduced by the keyboard. It may be based on the final movement of a concerto. The organ interacts with the orchestra without a prelude, which is unusual in Bacchi's concertos, but not without precedent, such as the harpsichord concerto in F major, BWV 1057. 6. Another secco recitative, etch, starker got, last Michal. Powerful God, let me think upon this continually, is a prayer for the ability to always reflect on the miracle of creation. It quotes Jesus saying, Hephata be opened to the deaf mute man, and turns it to the believer's heart would open up and his tongue would be loosened so that he might perceive and praise the divine miracles. 7. The cantata concludes with an area with the complete orchestra. It wants to nur begatsu leben, I wish to live with God alone. It expresses the wish to dwell with God forever in a minuet of positive character. The movement again uses a two part ritornello. When contrasting aspects of life on earth are mentioned, such as Jamirik and Schmerzen's jock sorrowful yoke of pain and martyrvall and leben tormented life, 
The organ supplies triplet figures, which the voice also uses to express Ein Froliches Halleluja, a joyful Hallelujah. Recordings The table is based on the listing on the Bach Cantatas website. Ensembles playing period instruments in historically informed performance are marked by a green background, 